Hi ladies, this is Pam from Shabby Vintage Dreams. I'm a little bit behind on uh, videos. I have been busy and doing quite a few crafty type projects. Um, so I wanted to share my latest with you. I have posted some of them uh, on Facebook in the different groups, but I wanted to do a video um, so you could see the project I've been working on. Um, these are seashells that um, I've been inspired by playing with. Um, Jane Marge and also Ruby Walsh um, were a huge inspiration for me on these. Um, and you can go on their channels. I will link them below so you can see the different things that they did with seashells. Um, and since it was summertime, I actually did go out. Um, I was in my garage and going through some of my craft supplies and I found a big basket of seashells that I had never opened. Uh, bought them somewhere, I think, um, you know, the thrift store or Ross or TJ Maxx, someplace like that. And um, I thought, I'm just going to open those up and start playing around with them. So I did. And I really had a lot of fun. I ended up painting all of these first. Um, most of them are painted on the front and the back. Some are not painted on the back because um, the shells were really pretty and I didn't want to cover it up with paint. Um, but they are all painted on the front. Some of them are decoupage. Some of them have glitter. Um, most of them have a little bit of lace and some bling. Um, so I'll show you each of them separately, but they are really, really um, a lot of fun. And I will give probably a lot of them away to friends and stuff, but um, it was just a blast to paint them and decorate them and see how they came out. Um, I'll start in the back here with this little one. This one um, I did paint on both sides and um, in this one, I just ended up putting some, uh, I painted pink, the shell pink, obviously. And then I put a little bit of the mint colored tool and an old um, piece of a doily I cut out, a little flower and um, a pearl there. But, you know, little to no time to make and how cute that is, right? Uh, this one's purple, same thing. Oop, I got a little bit caught there. This one's in purple, same thing. I used some tool, uh, put a little bit of cup chain here. I just thought that was really pretty. I still have some glue strings on here. Uh, a pearl, and this is um, a cutout of lace from Esme's uh, Crafty Me Shop. And some more bling there, but, you know, just so fun. Look at this one, guys. <clears throat> This one, the shell was so pretty. I don't know if you can see it on the inside, but it has these really pretty pink rings on the inside of the shell. And I didn't want to paint over that. So what I did was, hopefully you can see, inside the shell I um, decoupaged a little rose flower up in the back of the shell. And then I went around the outside edge and just put these little flowers around it to frame it, along with a little butterfly there. So cute. And then on the back of this one, because the shell was so round, it had a little round bottom. So on the back of this one, I put two little uh, flat back pearls so that it will, it's, you know, to help it stand up when you set it down. And then it stands. You know, in every single one of these, I got kind of a different idea. This one, um, the flower, I put the different colored little tiny flat back pearls around the edge. This is a napkin decoupaged in there with another little flower. This one, I did not decorate the back of it. I just thought the design, the shell itself was so pretty. I didn't want to cover that one up. This one I painted gold. Um, and on the back, I think I painted it a different color. It was a kind of a beige. Um, but yeah, this is a gold shell, painted it gold, and then just decoupaged, or um, hot glued this real pretty flower and some more of Esme's lace in the center of that one. This one's cute. This one I um, did peach color, painted the back as well. This one, same thing with uh, some seashells, bling, and some lace in the bottom of the shell. And I edged this shell in gold, just to kind of give it a little bit of extra something there. This one was really fun. I got really crazy on this one. This one I um, painted brown. 
It's a real pretty shade of brown. Hopefully you can see that. And then um, put some of, I did Mod Podge all these too. That's why they're so shiny. I put the shiny Mod Podge on them when I finished them. And then this is more of Esme's laces. Um, and then I had this real pretty dangle, beaded dangle. So I put that in the shell. And then I got the crazy idea. I don't know why, but I put this flower on the back. So what it does is it actually makes a stand for, let's see if I can show you, but I don't really have a way to stand it up, but it's it makes a stand for the shell. And so you can either stand it, it makes like a little pedestal with a little doily there. So it makes a little pedestal for the shell to stand on. And um, you can either stand it this way or use it this way as a kind of like a stand and it'll stand that way too. Cute. And I love the colors, the browns. That's really pretty. So yeah, that was kind of a fun, a fun thing to do with that one. Um, okay, let's see here. I um, think I left off here. So here's a real pretty purple lilac, I should say with a really pretty um, Esme, one of Esme's trims inside in the green beads. And then I trimmed it with this little purple flower lace trim. And he is, this one's pink on the back. Yeah, so I didn't always use the same color on the back as I did. This one's fun. This one kind of reminds me of a mermaid. But um, this one, brown on the back. It's got a really pretty mint green, um, and I did put some stickles in this one. It kind of has a glittery look inside of it, um, and little flowers, and the real pretty um, bling pieces here, and then the big pearl in the middle, and the little starfish in there. And you can't see it real well, but I did put a little bit of cup chain in there, too. And then this one... I love this one because I love the little keys and little teeny tiny flowers inside this one. Um, this one I left back, the back plain because the shell was so pretty. Inside is a real pretty turquoise color and then the little tiny sand dollar and shells and the beads and stuff. Um, this one is the only really, um, I'm not really a red person. Um, but this napkin that I decoupaged in, it was so pretty and it was kind of a reddish. So I did go ahead and do this one in red, um, red accents, I should say. So made the bling flower here and another little crystal flower. And then around the edge of this shell, I put more, uh oh, this one came loose. I'm going to have to glue that one back down. Um, I put more, um, little crystal flowers around the edge of that one. The butterfly. This one I also painted gold, and then inside it I put some stickles, um, put this real pretty bling on the top, and then it had a, the bling had a ring under the bottom, so I decided to hang a little dangle off of there, so I did a little key dangle on that one. Yeah. <clears throat> and this one, real pretty mint green color, also on the back. And then I just put a real simple doily, little doily inside this one with a, a real pretty piece of jewelry bling that I happen to have in my stash. This one turned out really pretty. This shell was actually naturally colored. Um, I didn't do anything to the back of the shell. That's the natural shell. And then this edge, this dark brown edge is natural to the shell. So I found a napkin with a ship on the napkin. I decoupaged that in just into this part and then um, put the word adventure, a little bit of cup chain and some um, fibers there and then the key. So this one is kind of masculine, I guess, sort of masculine looking, but I really like that it said adventure on it. This one, same thing, another napkin um, inside this one, left the back of this one alone. Um, and then I put some stickles around the outside edge of this one and, uh, the bling, little flower, some bling pieces, pearls, and some more fibers of that one. 
Here's another ship one. Um, my daughter really loved this one, so I think I'm going to end up giving this one to her. Um, but yeah, same here. The shell was really pretty. Did not want to do anything to that. So I just decoupaged inside this shell. Um, and it's really funny because this looks really old, but that's the natural color of the shell. I did not paint that shell. So um, I just decoupaged the ship inside, put the little word voyage there, and then some more fiber with a little pearl and some bling on that one. This one's really cute and very simple. Um, did nothing to the back. And then inside, I just decoupaged a really pretty piece of a blue napkin and um, found a little piece of bling that I decided to put there. A little broken piece off of a bracelet. It happened to be blue, so it just seemed like it just kind of fit there. This is cute. This is a little one. This one, too, is awful small. Um, you can tell I love this mint green color because I did a lot of them in this color. Um, but yeah, so I've still got glue strings on here. So this one, same thing, the brown back. And then inside this one is the real pretty minty color. I did put some stickles in that one and a little bit of lace with some shells and a, a pearl up here with some little lace behind the pearl. So that one came out really cute too. This one um, has the really cute bird inside with a little bit of uh, flower cut out here, a little um, plastic, kind of like a cameo type, and then some bling here. But I think you can still see the bird inside there. That was really pretty. Okay, and then there's this one. This one was a pink shell. Back color is the mint green pink inside and then what I did was I put the th different kind of blings here um, and then I put a little piece of Esme's lace here with some glitter on top of the lace so that one was ended up real blingy and kind of glittery looking they're all so pretty though I mean they almost they look like um, a treasure chest you know like jewels like tre jewels found in a treasure chest or something and the fact that they're in the shells makes them even prettier this one I painted a really light beige on the back a real pretty blue soft blue inside and then I put um, one of Esme's pieces of cut out her lace and then another piece of bling and for the bling I did use the uh, E6000 because you know you don't want those to come loose little pearls in in the bling and Esme's, uh, this came like this with the pearls, so that was really pretty. This is another great one. I love this one. Um, this is a decoupage shell, and it was like a rose, a real pretty rose. And then on the back, I left it plain, put a little doily there, um, and then this real pretty um, pearl. I think this might be from Esme's store. I'm not positive, but I think it is. And then another little um, ribbon rose there with a bling. It's really pretty. This one I love. This is one of my favorites. Um, this one I painted white on the back. Actually, it's kind of an ivory. And then um, purple, a real pretty purple on the in the shell. I put the gold gild on the edges. And then this one has a piece of Esme's bling, or her lace, I should say, inside the shell with a gorgeous um, butterfly, jewel butterfly here. And again, I used the E6000 on the butterfly to make sure that it held. But it's so pretty, it looks like the butterfly is just getting ready to fly right off of there. And then this is the last one. This one I painted kind of a left the back alone, painted the inside a peachy, real pretty peachy color with some stickles. And then this one I just put a whole row in beautiful pastel flowers, tiny flowers around this edge, and um, a butterfly here and here with a little bit of bling back there. Yeah, so somebody was saying, you know, you could put them on your fridge if you wanted to put magnets on it, you know, you could do that. I, I'm kind of past the um, magnet phase of life. Um, so I intend to just give these away um, I might make some ornaments out of them, uh, Christmas ornaments. That would be pretty, too. Um, 
but they were just so much fun to do and they were just they're just like little treasures so um you might want to give that a try and then i actually did finish two large shells um these were all the very small ones but i did two large shells also um this one in real pretty pink this shell's probably about five and a half inches across maybe six i left the back alone because it was just such a pretty shell naturally and then um inside i did decoupage a real pretty rose napkin and then i put some of esme's trim inside on the napkin this is another trim i had in my stash this little beaded one that sticks up and then i put more mod podge on top of it and i sprinkled glitter inside and then when the glitter was dry i put another coat of mod podge to hold it but um it's really really turned out pretty so sparkly it looks just like I don't know, jewelry, I guess, would be the best way to describe it. It's beautiful. So I'm going to give this one to my sister-in-law. She loves shabby and she loves bling. And she has a birthday coming up, so this will be going to her. Yeah, and then the other one I did was also, this one's even slightly bigger. Um, I love the fall colors and the fall season. So um, look at this shell. This is a natural, you know, this is the way it came to me. Um, so I'm, I'm assuming, I'm pretty sure this is just the natural, natural color in the shell. It's kind of a peachy orange color. It's beautiful. And then what I did was I decoupaged a fall napkin inside of it, um, with pumpkins and gourds and sunflowers and things like that. When it dried, I did, um, another layer of the Mod Podge and then I gilded the edge in the gold and put some stickles. And then up here on the top of the shelf with the E6000, I think it's called E6000. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah, E6000. Um, I had some old junk jewelry and I had this brooch. Um, I'm sure this is a vintage brooch. I don't know exactly how old it is, um, but I found it in my pile of goodies and it had the leaves with the rhinestones and I just thought that was so pretty. So I put that on. Um, it had the pearls in the brooch, and then I added this brown, blingy kind of crystal acrylic flower and an uh, orange butterfly. And then I did find these leaves in my stash, too, that I had. And I um, put these on with the E6000, and I think that really looked pretty sticking out to the side there. So that's this one. This one I'll be keeping for myself, because like I say, I love fall, and I'll be decorating... Um, I'll be putting this out this fall with my my decorations so yeah so that's it ladies um I did I thought I just had so much fun with it that um I actually ordered some more of the shells in this size um the ease the smaller shells are pretty easy to come by um the larger shells not so much and I really enjoyed doing the um larger picture you know the larger decoupage on the the larger shells so I, I ordered some more of those I'll probably be doing some more kind of design with um, you know some more ideas or something but I did order more of those and I'm looking forward to playing around with those so that's it so that's it for today thanks for watching I will be back soon with another video and um, I appreciate your comments and if you are not a member to my channel please subscribe and um, please feel free to um, like this video and let me know what you think. Thanks so much, ladies. Until next time, bye-bye.